Welcome back everyone. My name is Warren Bishop and before we get into this, uh, I just want to say that memories are worth saving. And here's just a little segment of what we're about to talk about. I wanted to do a quick overview uh, in my review um, of the 3XS Lite gimbal from Benro. It's been about a year since I've been using it. I got this last October. I saw this at the, the Benro booth at NAB, and I was actually very intrigued, um, primarily for the fact that how small and how compact it can get. My wife and I took this to uh, Florida on our 10 year anniversary. We're huge Harry Potter nerds. I, I can't imagine our experience without this. Eight years ago, we went on our first trip to Universal Studios and I am so glad that I was able to find some of the shots that I, I filmed with my phone then. And you're gonna watch it right now. Uh, do not judge, we don't judge here. <laughs> Uh, everyone starts somewhere and we progress and we get better. Oh wow. Oh my god. You gotta be kidding me. And yeah, that was. <laughs> That was how I filmed and uh, saved a memory. And we all want to, to remember special moments in our life. But then we go back and watch it and we realized exactly how bad we shot it. And I was extremely, exceedingly uh, thankful for this device. We went up to the Redwoods and up to the Pacific Northwest. We were able to walk on very weird terrain fairly quick and capture some interesting, you know, shots. Uh, mostly, I, I, I want to capture, you know, moments, family moments, so we can go back and remember the good times and remember the times that we decided to go out and, and, and go on an adventure. Go on an adventure! <laughs> so we're gonna go over a couple things. This will kind of be an overview in addition to the review and show you exactly why I like this. I will talk about some of the quirks and some things that they could work out as well because, you know, what's a review without having some of the cons? Please uh, come by my Twitch channel. I stream every Tuesday and Thursday and uh, we can talk about, you know, things that we've reviewed already. We talk about streaming, your setups, my setup and everything. Um, so yeah, this shows you exactly how compact this unit will get. Uh, you can put this inside the the bag, or the the bag, the bag, the bag that they supply. And of course, this plate doesn't actually come with it. That that's to the tripod. Enough to to keep it from getting scratched or you know the paint getting you know chipped off or whatever. A little tripod so you can calibrate it. Uh, calibration is very important to allow the uh, the gimbal to know exactly where the horizon is and to keep the motors from overworking themselves. So that is included. And then of course you've got the box here. Uh, I will say right off the bat, something that I was a little disappointed with the box. This says the 3XS light here. But if you look close and right up at the top here, it says wireless charging. This is not a wireless charging um, gimbal. The 3XS is, but not the light. 
So the wireless charging is only on the 3XS, which is an amazing feature, but this doesn't have it, but it says it on the box. It even shows some features here on the back with this cable that's plugged in. It doesn't have that option either. So if Benro could, you know, maybe in the future on future project, uh, products to have a box that is designed specifically for the product so it's not misleading people, that would be extremely helpful because I'm, I'm sure that there are people out there that were a little disappointed with the fact that it didn't come with wireless charging when they opened it, even though it's not, you know, advertised to have that function. Because I know that I am horrible at charging my phone and my wife will say it, trust me. So my phone will die while it's on the gimbal. And if I had uh, if I had the 3XS version, I wouldn't have that problem just because it'll continue to charge my phone as we go. Uh, of course, the battery inside here will deplete over time, but I'm willing to take that and have that feature uh, on something like this. Level out the tripod. Perfect. Perfect. We're going to calibrate it. Uh, calibration is very important. I'm going to open up the app. Benro makes an app. Uh, there's a couple options here for different types of gimbals that they carry. This is part of the X series. And then you have the 3XS Lite, 3XS, 3XM, and so on. So we're going to choose the 3XS Lite. Okay, so you've got to turn on the gimbal first. And then you're going to open up the app. And you're going to open up the app and press the cog button in the upper left-hand corner. Choose gimbal drift calibration, and it shows you an image at how this should be oriented. And it's showing it to be oriented exactly how I have it right now. We're gonna hit start. It's gonna do um, some internal calibration on the unit. Uh, so do not touch it while it does this. And uh, once it's done with that, it will show you completed and it'll we'll be able to move on to the next uh, option. So drift calibration is successful. Please unlock the 3XS light. Uh, so long press the power button to turn it off. Let's go ahead and do that. Done. Confirm. One thing to note, there's writing down here at the bottom of the gimbal uh, where you put your phone. That is actually the bottom of where your phone should be. This should always be to the right, the arm, and then your phone's gonna go in just like this. So one thing that'll help you uh, level this out because you want to make sure that your phone doesn't drift one way. You want to hold it by this back motor. You want to move it around until it is level like it is now. And then at this point, you can let go, turn on the unit, just like that. The gimbal is now turned on. Let me turn it. And I'm going to choose level calibration. After I turn this on, what's going to happen is it's going to kind of orient. It's going to do these weird movements and it's going to do it all by itself and you're gonna see it orient to a vertical mode. So if you wanted to shoot video on Instagram, you could choose uh, the option on the front here, there's a button that will allow you to orient from horizontal to vertical mode. And uh, we'll get into that here in just a moment uh, after it does its cool robotics. Just like that, success, please restart the gimbal, hit restart. Once it does that, it's gonna it's gonna get itself back to a normal orientation. That option is essentially allowing you to find the horizon line so that everything you look at doesn't look like it's crooked. Uh, so if I were to take this off of here now, I can now, there we go. I can record if I wanted to, uh, but if you look at the top of the blinds, it is pretty darn close, yeah. That's, that's really good. And it'll save it to my, uh, my camera roll. Let's get into the layout of how this gimbal is set up since we've got the phone on here now. On the front side, you're going to have the power button. That is, you know, fairly important. You need to know how to turn things on. And you just press it up and hold. That'll turn it on and that'll turn it off. And you're going to have a, a, an analog joystick here on the front that allows you to move the gimbal up, down, sideways, and so on uh, as your 
you know, pointing it at whatever you want. The bottom button here, that is your record button. And as soon as you press that, it's gonna start recording. The next one up, that allows you to choose your video modes. So we're on video, there's an option for slow-mo, there's an option for face track, object track, motion time-lapse, uh, time-lapse, and then back to video. There's a photo mode uh, that gives you some photo modes, wide angle, night shot, light, leak, uh, light leaks, uh, multi-focus, pano, and photo. To be honest, I don't personally know anyone that has a gimbal that uses photo modes. Please tell me in the comment section below if you use a gimbal for photos or if you use it for videos. Maybe I'll do some type of poll if possible. But I'm really intrigued to know how many of you will use a gimbal for photos because I know I do not. So now what we're gonna do is we're gonna take a look at these side buttons here. We've got a little uh, toggle that allows you to zoom in and zoom out. Uh, you've got an M button that allows you to go from horizontal mode to vertical mode. And then on the side, you've also got a 3.5 mini jack if you wanted to put a microphone on it. Okay, so on the front here, we've got the trigger button. And then we've got a button that allows you to change the cameras. So if we wanted to choose the rear facing camera or the front facing camera, we do have that option with that uh, button on the front. What would be really cool on this would be to have an option when you're recording. So if I were to press record right now, I'm recording, is to be able to somehow switch. I don't know if this is possible within firmware updates, but to be able to just press the button and switch between a selfie mode or the the, the camera that allows me to, to see what, what is in front of me, uh, by pressing that button, that would be really cool in filming my wife. And then I wanted to, to, to talk uh, while, while also just, you know, walking, walking. We're just walking, walking. And the toggle between those cameras would be a really cool feature, in my humble opinion. A firmware update on that would be super, super rad. Uh, or if it's something that goes into a future revision uh, to a new product, uh, I'd be fine with that too. But for some reason, I feel like they could update that. And that's pretty much it on, on the buttons on here. Uh, on the back side, right down here at the bottom, there's a USB-C that allows you to charge the gimbal. Uh, it does have a built-in battery, so you cannot swap the battery out if it died. You do have to let it sit and recharge until you're able to use it again. Uh, it would be really, really cool if, if you can have a capsule that you could swap out uh, and have those going, you know, as you're filming, you've got one that's charging, and then once this one's depleted, you can swap it out. Uh, but I know a lot of newer devices are coming with built-in batteries, but the problem with built-in batteries is the fact that when they die, they die, they're done. So uh, I am all for having capsules, something that I can swap out when something has, is, is depleted completely or at the end of its life cycle, I think that would be super cool. They've created something that is so useful, you know, for myself and I'm sure for many other people. I can't imagine anyone not wanting to have something like this, you know, at a price point just barely over $100. Hardware wise, I can't imagine many updates other than something like what you know DJI had just released to where you can just kind of clip your, your camera or your phone onto the gimbal. I mean, that's an interesting, interesting um, option. I'm not sure if they're gonna, they're gonna go down that road or not, but really a lot of the things come down to software. Being able to you know, toggle between cameras, so if I wanted the front facing or the rear facing cameras, as I'm recording, that would be a really cool implementation. Live streaming. That is a huge, you know, option that is not available on these within the software. Uh, being able to route to Instagram, to Twitch. I would love to just pull this out, bring it on my tripod, go out to a, you know, a location, and then use this to use the object track or the, the, um, the face track and walk around and talk about stuff. I think that would be a really cool option. The, the, the object track and face track would be, I think the coolest uh, upgrade to the software 
if they can make it happen, uh, you know, as your face is lost, um, that it continues the object track, kind of like I just showed. Those are the biggest uh, improvements that I could see them potentially doing with this unit. And please just get rid of the glamour button. It's not needed. I already look glamorous, right? We all expect to to you know go back and watch what we had filmed, you know, years past, and you have a preconceived notion of how it should look, and that's not how it looks, at least until now. I mean, there's a lot of things uh, that can help, you know, take your your mind off of the technology, and that's exactly what this thing does. Also, everyone, don't forget, I do stream on Twitch every Monday and Thursday. So st stop by, hang out, we'll talk, we'll chat uh, about all the new stuff that's coming up. So that's about it. Thanks everyone uh, for, for watching this review. If you'd like to, to uh, comment, subscribe, uh, hit that notification bell for future videos, please do that now. And I'll see you on the next video. Uh, I really love talking about technology. I've been in this for a long time and uh, I just would love to, to know your thoughts on, on this and any questions that you may have. So until the next one, I'll catch you later. Hold for plans. Plans. It's this sexy little beast. That was horrible. <sighs> if you stayed this long, I'm sorry.